Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's tangle is Take Heart, A Heartstring for Kelly by Cheryl Moat and CZT. And it's a beautiful tangle. And I probably should have looked, I know it was dedicated to Kelly, um, but I absolutely love this. If you like hearts, you're going to love it. My little granddaughter who's five said, I like the heart one. Um, as I was drawing today, and I'm going to do it on a um, a triangular shape tile. This is the the step outs, and I will try to post them on my uh, blog. So I'm just going to do it on a um, a 3Z or a triangle um, tile, and I am going to use a uh, brown. There it is. A brown 01, micron 01, and you can see I did it here, and I also shaded with white and with a, a graphite. So we're just going to start by drawing a heart. And I'm going to do three hearts that kind of join together. And I'm using a very light touch. Oh, you might be able to not be able to see that. Let me come in closer. There you can. You can see it. So we're just drawing hearts. And my hearts kind of touch in the center. And then I'm going to draw a really small circle and have the tail come off and go right down to that point. Then I'm going to draw around it and have the tail come off and all, all to the side. And then draw around it and have it come to the apex. So we'll repeat that again. Small circle. Tail come off to the point. Retrace your circle. Come off to the side. Oh, I'm sorry. And retrace your circle and come off to the apex. I'll do it again. Small circle, come to the point. Small circle, come to the side. Retrace your circle and come to the apex. So you have it sectioned off into three sections. And now we're going to come to one of our hearts. And, we're, and I'm going to do the one that's on the left side. And I'm going to aura and then come down to the point. Aura and come down to that point. And just keep working my way up and drawing right down along that edge to the point. And now we're going to come to this next one and we're going to do the same thing where we come from the center up to that outside edge. So we're kind of just retracing that same step that we did in the beginning. And it comes up. And now I'm going to do a little petal kind of shape. And I'm going to just aura that petal. And I like to start at the beginning and come down so I get a little build up of ink in that. We're going to come back and do a little bit more, but let's re redo that one again so you see what it's done. We trace around and come down. That's on the left side of that heart. Come down. And then here we're going to do a little petal shape. And I just kind of rock back and forth. 
so that I get that whole petal shape. Okay, and then we do it on the last one. Because I'm using an O1, I don't want to press hard. Very light strokes. And there I have them all done. Now this very center, I'm going to color this one in. I'm going to do a little striping because I think it needs a little bit more um, drama. So I'm going to stripe. that little space right there. So I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to come to here. This was the first one I did. So I may have a little bit of fixing to do on this when I am. And this happens occasionally when I'm drawing. I like to end with um, a thick line. I don't want to end on with just that little thin line or um, a white when I'm auraing I like to have that last outside line so I am just emphasizing that and I'm just going to make it rotate we'll see what happens on this one and we're going to end up right And I like to really color in when I'm using that brown because it gets really dark. Now for this center, I'm just going to aura, but I am going to what just keep auraing kind of spiral aura, keeping that all the same size because then that you start to wonder how is that done? And um, and then for the outside edge, instead of aura in, I'm going to aura with orbs. Just different sizes of orbs. Sometimes I do diminishing orbs. Sometimes I'll do them so they get bigger but I'm just going to do different sizes of orbs around here as a aura and you can use different things to aura with you don't always have to do just a straight line and so I'm going to just keep aura in all the way around I'm coming to the end and there we have it ordered all the way around now I'm going to take my um, jelly roll and I am going to use a 08, my 08 jelly roll and I am going to just add a little pop. So that very center I am going to just 
do that little tiny one right there. I think I'm going to put a little dot right there in the center and then just a few of these and just the same as I've done before I I will just randomly fill in sometimes it's very hard to do random you'll start doing every every other one if you make yourself kind of concentrate or think about what you're doing and not do every other one skip three skip two do two together then skip two you just have to otherwise it's so easy for us to just um, end up with a very random but not random um, filling in. So now I'm going to take my graphite pencil and I am going to just put some graphite on this very outside part and then I'm going, going to also take Well, I just sharpened it, you know, how that goes. Oh, there it is. A, my shading stump and blend that in. And sometimes I can pull that graphite around I don't have to add it, but I can just pull it around. But you can see how that, so, and then you can also take your um, white pencil and add a little white. And I'm just going to add a little white in here. You don't always have to shade with graphite. You can shade with a little white. And there we have Take Heart. And I had fun doing it on a 3Z tile. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, try some Take Heart. Thanks again and have a great day.